So we'll go over here on this wall and uh, this coffee table here. Once again, I built this myself. I needed more display space. So I thought, hey, may as well build displays into the furniture. And uh, these pieces here, except for the metal and the droid collar, uh, these were all built by me. A lot of them were holding around production kits. Uh, the lightsabers are not. Uh, they are machined aluminum. Uh, oh, I didn't buy the uh, Luke saber. That's that's one that I did not build. I, I just bought that on eBay. Got it for a good price, too. So here is my interrogator droid. Uh, I don't have the batteries in it, so the lights aren't going to... I'm not going to be able to turn the lights on. Uh, but I built this myself. And this part right here, you may or may not recognize it, but these are speeder bike parts. <laughs> That is my next really, really big project I'm in the middle of building. Um, I just need a place to sit him out of the way. And so, got Megatron there. Now, he is properly scaled. That is not a toy. That's all resin cast parts, uh, which you can get at Hole in the Ground Productions. Pulse Rifle. Uh, now, that is not my kit. Uh, that's someone else's. Um, if you go to Spat Cave, you can get it there. It, really cool. The Pulse Rifle is one of the coolest sci-fi weapons ever invented. Just looks so, so awesome. So up here on this long shelf is, or I should say was, where I housed my Black Series figure collection, but I've sold off most of them. So I only have a few left up there. Uh, and the whole reason it's that really long shape is there had been a light fixture up there. I took the light fixture off and uh, replaced it with this shelf. I have the dark saber up there. Let's see, uh, Black Series one. This is one of my favorite pieces. Uh, this is from Dave Dorman. This was a, uh, so I'm not sure what celebration it was. It was a celebration print he had and Biker Scouts. That's kind of my thing. So... My uh, wife got it for me as a gift. So here is the Kroll Glaive from the movie Kroll. <laughs> that is a hole in the ground production kit that I made. Um, silly movie, but I still love it for some reason. Uh, some of you may or may not recognize that because it's a bit old at this point, but that was a plaque that was uh, featured in the TV series Lost. So, stepping back here, more droid stuff. Now, this is uh, the Hasbro remote control BB 8. My wife wanted me to build her a full size one. And I was like, uh, no, that's a bit much. I'll. Uh, I'll just get the one you can buy. <laughs> the IG-88 head was a kit, not mine, but I was able to get a hold of one and thought, what the heck, just something to, just something to make. The Gonk droid is mine that I scratch built. Great thing about a Gonk droid, they're basically a big box and you can uh, use them for storage or just about anything, which makes it really, really nice. So over here, I have my Steampunk R2-D2, and again, he is fully remote control and has lights and sound, and he even uh, shoots smoke out the top. I'll have to do a separate video with him at some point. But hey, Hal. Let's get a wide view there. And there you go. You see, I have a bunch of junk there right in the middle. It's like, I, I need to do something with all that. And I really need more cabinet space. And some people, they, they have so much stuff in their collections that it's great. They can just walk up and move stuff around. But there is a reason why almost everything you see here is behind glass. And the reason being, that guy right there. Kylo, 
Yeah, you. That's why I can't have anything that isn't behind glass. He is a climber, and he would get into everything. And his mother as well, uh, she's a little thief. If there was an action figure that was loose, uh, she would probably pick it up and run off with it. So that's one of the things that really makes it difficult with my collection room is I can't just put a bunch of series of shelves in here. Everything really has to be protected behind glass. And there's no door to the downstairs here, so it's not like we can just close the room off. This is, like, part of the whole downstairs, the family room, basically. So, there you have it. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, like I said, not as impressive as some other people's collections. And, you know, hopefully I can find a way to kind of rearrange some stuff and... I've actually thought about behind the couch there, maybe if I could get another cabinet facing in or something, but um, yeah, there we go.